Bill O'Reilly thinks he figured out why people vote Democratic. So let's listen and then we'll have some fun with this. If a whopping 64% of Americans think the country's out of control under the Obama administration, why would anyone vote for a Democratic candidate? The answer is emotion. Democrats have been very successful in convincing some voters that the Republican Party favors the rich and is anti-woman. The Republican Party has not been able to put forth a leader to refute those allegations effectively. Thus, in every poll, American women continue to favor Democrats, no matter what happens to the nation. What is certainly true is that the Democratic Party and President Obama have not been successful in making America a stronger country. We're much weaker than we were six years ago. So if you're voting for the country, then you would be less likely to support the Democrats. But if you're voting just for yourself and what you can get from the government, the option the Democrats provide continued entitlements is attractive. Okay, that's hilarious because every single point he made was projection. So the idea that you're selfish and you're emotional, you're, you're narcissistic if you vote Democratic, you're only voting for yourself to get continued entitlements. Actually, Bill, the only reason why anybody would vote Republican or should vote Republican is if they're super de duper de duper de rich, like yourself, and they want to get another tax break at the expense of everybody in the country and everything in the country. Our infrastructure gets a grade of D from the Civil Society of Engineers. And what's Bill O'Reilly want to do? He doesn't look at that problem and say, you know, the patriotic thing is for me to pay 3% more in taxes and fix everything up. He goes, cut my taxes more! But we're selfish, but the Democrats are selfish. Not the conservatives, not the, not the Republicans who cut taxes during a time of war when we were fighting two wars when that had never happened in history beforehand. Whenever you fight a war, you gotta pay for it, so you gotta raise taxes. But what did George W. Bush do? All the neoconservatives. No, cut taxes on the rich specifically, and we'll go to war. So tell me again who's selfish? Nothing could be more selfish than that. Nothing could be more selfish than that. Every single point he made there was projection. Oh, please, the idea that people who vote Democratic uh, are emotional, are doing it for those reasons? No, 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 no. The Republicans, all they know is emotion. What are they talking about right now as we're ha sitting here having this conversation? Oh my God, Ebola, Ebola's coming to fuck my grandmother in the ass. This is the worst disease ever. It's so scary. It's going to happen immediately in Cleveland and Tuscaloosa. When the reality is what? Less than five people in the U.S. have died from Ebola. Meanwhile, 443,000 die every year from smoking-related illnesses. 32,000 die from gun violence. But what's their response to those things? <whistles> Do universal background checks. How dare you infringe on my liberty? <whistles> the flu kills about 20,000 people a year. And do they talk about that? No, they actively won't get their flu shot. Because government, something, science, bad, vaccines, evil, something, Agenda 21. But Ebola, where less than five people die. Oh my God, Ebola, I'm scared. We're emotional. We're emotional. ISIS, all day long, they fear monger about how ISIS is... They say, the Republicans say, elected Republicans, mind you, they say... ISIS is making deals with Mexican drug cartels and coming across the border and they're going to travel hundreds of miles into Arkansas to attack in Arkansas. Tom Cotton of Arkansas said that. And we vote for emotional reasons. We do. We do. We do. We do. Not the people saying ISIS is dealing with Mexican drug cartels and coming across the border when there's no fucking evidence of that. Who would even be the interpreter to speak the language that ISIS speaks to, talk, to speak Spanish? to the Mexican drug cartels. And why would the Mexican drug cartels want anybody to threaten their power in the region? Are you insane? And the Mexican drug cartels are largely Christian people in those organizations. ISIS would behead them in 0.2 seconds. They wouldn't make a deal together. What the fuck? It makes absolutely no sense. But we're the ones that vote on a motion. Not, not the Republicans. Not the Republicans. Uh, the entire Republican Party from the year 2001 and onward it's been nothing but fear-based. The entire Iraq war was based on emotion and fear because Republicans drove the country in that direction. The entire thing about Saddam Hussein and weapons of mass destruction, totally made up, total bullshit, 
But George W. Bush and Dick Cheney said the words Saddam and weapons of mass destruction in the same sentence enough, and the dumbass Republicans went, I'm scared, please, Big Daddy Bush, help me in any way possible. I'd love you forever if you just go and fight and have our soldiers die and kill civilians in Iraq, and then we'll love you, we'll love you, but we're so scared, help us. But we're the ones that vote off of emotion. No, Bill, let me break this down for you very, very simple, because you often say you're a simple guy, and that's true. Uh, on the issue of the economy... This is why we vote Democratic. Now, I have many problems with the Democrats. They're not strong enough on the economy. I'd love for them to do many more things and be much more proactive. But here's a simple fact. Uh, the Republicans left us with 10% unemployment and the Great Recession and subprime mortgage crisis. Obama came in, did the stimulus, uh, did some forms of regulation, not nearly enough, but some forms. Guess what? Unemployment went from 10% to 5.9%. This is why people vote Democratic. The, uh, the unemployment rate is down. Again, I have problems with the, uh, a lot of the specifics of the kind of jobs that have been created, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, but it's inarguable. It's inarguable. You can't say that Republicans do a better job on the economy than uh, Democrats. Private sector job creation. It's been much more... Uh, Democrats creating jobs than Republicans. And that's post-World War II, not just recently. The deficit. That's an issue conservatives say they care about all the time. Well, President Obama's cut the deficit almost in half. George W. Bush left him a $1.4 trillion deficit. These are facts, Bill, and these are facts that are reasons to vote Democratic over Republican. But you're telling us we va uh, vote based off emotions. Meanwhile, obviously you guys vote based off of emotions because even according to your own standards... Uh, Democrats do better than Republicans. Like I said, you guys love capitalism, private sector job creation. Democrats do better. You guys love cutting deficits, or you say you do. Guess what? Democrats do a better job. But we vote off emotions. But we do. Meanwhile, you simply don't know the facts. Foreign policy. This is why people vote Democratic. George W. Bush and the neoconservatives, they've never met a war they didn't like. They were actively trying to get us in a third war when they were in office with Iran. They wanted to fight three wars at the same fucking time. Iraq, Afghanistan, and Iran. So what do you, just, you know, stop fucking around and just say it. We're an imperialistic power. We'd like to be like old school Britain and colonized places. Next is India. We're coming back for you, you sons of bitches. I mean... This is what they actually wanted. The Democrats are also way too pro-war, but they're not as pro-war as the Republicans are. This is why people vote Democratic. But Bill O'Reilly, naive, stupid, simpleton Bill O'Reilly, flips the reality totally on its head and does pure projection where everything the Republican Party is guilty of, apparently now the Democrats are guilty of.